Now, Aaron Rodgers, he's a once in a generation QB. Like, he's one of the greatest QBs of all time. And when I think of Aaron Rodgers, the first word that comes to my mind is talent. He is probably the most talented NFL player to ever play football. I mean, like, and that's saying a lot because Aaron Rodgers, he's a beast. So, what is going on, guys? A tip here. And in this video, I'll be talking about whether this is Aaron Rodgers' greatest season of all time or not. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, Aaron Rodgers, he's had many great seasons. I mean, of course, he had that 2014 season with 38 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. But probably if you were to decide, I'm pretty sure that this would, his greatest season of all time, would unanimously go to the 2011 season. 45 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and a 122.5 rating. I mean, look, that's the highest rating in a season. And 45 touchdowns to 6 interceptions. Do you realize how good of a touchdown to interception ratio that is? You probably do. Because that's absolutely insane. But then, let's look at this 2020 season he's having. Through 8 games. Mind you, this is 8 games. He has 2,000... 253 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. In his 2019 season alone, he had 26 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. He's about to reach the same amount of touchdowns in 9 games that he had in the whole 2019 season. And yes, his arm, it was probably, his shoulder was still probably a bit jacked up, but like that's absolutely insane. If you look at his stats, he has, I think, four four touchdown games. And in each of those four touchdown games, guess how many interceptions he has? Zero. Literally. All of his two interceptions came in one game. And of course, I'm pretty sure you guys know what game that was. It was the Buccaneers game, where he threw what I believe was his third pick six in his entire career. I mean, I think that Aaron Rodgers... I, I'm not sure, but I, he probably had the greatest touchdown to interception ratio of all time. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and it's 388 to 86. And my guy Aaron Rodgers, in his career, he has over 100 QB rating. He's probably the GOAT when it comes to QB ratings. Like, he's, I mean, Russell Wilson, he, he could take over, but I still think that Aaron Rodgers will be the GOAT of QB of the QB rating. Or not QB rating, but just the rating in general. Because this dude, he knows how to work it. And oh man, if you don't remember that play right there, that play was absolutely great. That game was great as well. Like Larry Fitzgerald had an amazing play, but Aaron Rodgers was just the de definition of greatness in that game. But anyways, him and Jordy Nelson, I believe they have 90 com uh, touchdowns. Like that QB wide receiver. Do I believe it has 90 touchdowns? And I mean, that that duo is something special right there. Like, it's probably a top five duo of all time, if you want to put it there. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Steve Young and Jerry Rice, in my opinion, my, it's my favorite duo of all time, of course, but that has 92 touchdowns. I believe Brady and Gronk, they just got like 93. And then I believe Harrison and um, Manning have 114. So... I think that Brady and Gronk will probably never catch up to Harrison and Manning, but hey, who knows? But anyways, I mean, what I, we're talking about something else, right? Is this Aaron Rodgers' greatest season of all time? And in my opinion, I'm going with yes. 48 touchdowns and four interceptions. That that's what he's on pace for, and that's more touchdowns than he's ever had in a season. His rating right now is a 117.5. And yes, it's not as good as his 122.5 rating season. But I mean, when you I while I don't think he's going to win MVP, I do think that he'll be top 3 for voting behind Mahomes and Wilson. And I feel like no one's talking about him enough for this MVP race. Like bro, there could be there could honestly be 3 QBs with 50 plus touchdowns this season. And I mean, Russell Wilson's probably going to break the record for the most touchdowns in a season by a QB of 55 by Peyton Manning. Like, he's on pace right now for 56. Although he is going to get probably, like, 
I don't know how many interceptions he's gonna get, but I believe Peyton Manning only had like 10 in his season. So while I don't think Russell Wilson will do it as, I'm not sure, you, I guess efficient's the right word. I think that Russell Wilson will definitely break the record. And um, Aaron Rodgers though, I think that that 2011 season, it's the it's the loner season because he won MVP. He's had two MVPs, but I think that that's the better MVP season. And I mean, I'm I believe Drew Brees had a really good season that season as well. And then Matt Stafford actually surprisingly comes to mind when you think of that season. He had 41 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. Oh, and by the way, let's not forget Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams this season. That duo is something special. Like Aaron Rodgers, bro, he picks this one receiver. And he just makes some beastly. It was Jordy Nelson before Devontae Adams, and now it's Devontae Adams. And I think that that's something special with Aaron Rodgers, how he can build chemistry with players. This dude gets so much hate because of the media. Like, tell me, how do you not like this guy? As Stephen A. Smith would say, he's a bad and, man. And yes, I mean, I don't even, I mean, look, Stephen A. Smith, I like Stephen A. Smith a lot because, like, it's Stephen A. Smith, you know, but you just, I don't know how you don't like Aaron Rodgers in my eyes, and he's having a great season, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him, very happy, and I mean, I hope that, honestly, I honestly hope he wins MVP, actually, like, while it's probably not gonna happen, he's having the greatest season of his career in my eyes, he's probably having, well, see, Patrick Mahomes is probably having a better season right now than he is. Like, 25 touchdowns to one interception compared to 24 touchdowns to two interceptions. Like, there's really not that big of a difference, but... Look, I do think that Patrick Mahomes' 2018 season might have been a bit better than Aaron Rodgers' 2011 season, if you want to compare those two. But, for the title of this video, my answer is yes, this is Aaron Rodgers' greatest season. And, I mean, yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.